Today we're going to be doing a comparison of the two systems that right now pretty much dominate the $300 mini PC price segment. This of course is going to be a comparison of the Ace Magician Ryzen 5 5600U mini PC versus the Beelink SCR5 mini PC that comes in multiple variations. At this price point you'll usually find it with a 5500U or a 5560U. Version I have here is the one with the 5560U but I also do have performance numbers for the 5500U. Now immediately taking a look at the specs between the two systems, everything is pretty much identical between the two of them except for the APU that each one is using. The B-Link using the 5560U while the Ace Magician is using the 5600U. Both systems have Zen 3 based CPUs though the 5600U does have noticeably higher cash. But one of the biggest differences is the fact that the SRE5 with the 5560U only has a Radeon 6 iGPU as opposed to the Radeon 7 that is in the Ace Magician with its 5600U. Before we take a look at performance, we are going to look at the body of the systems here. You can see what the IO is like. The rear IO is very similar. The only real difference is being that the B-Link you get two HDMI while with the Ace Magician you get one HDMI and one full size display port. Another major difference difference is of course the two ethernet ports that are in the ace magician versus just the single gigabit ethernet in the b-link outside of that pretty much all of the io that remains is pretty much identical between the two the only other major difference between the systems is really the fact that the ace magician though being a bigger unit actually has worse cooling than the b-link it really doesn't seem like there was enough thought put into the design of the cooling system for the ace magician as opposed to the b-link that really does a rock solid job of staying pretty much silent even at a higher tdp configuration and speaking of tdps the ace magician comes with a stock configuration of 15 watts though you are able to actually customize it to pretty much whatever it is that you want though do note that the cooling system of it does not really seem to handle anything past 25 watts the b-link comes with a stock tdp of 15 watts though you can also configure it to 25 all the performance numbers that you're going to be seeing were tested with both systems configured to 25 watts but do note that both of them come with a stock configuration of 15 watts and this is true of all configurations of the sre5 besides the version with the 5600h so the 5500u and 5560u both come with the stock 15 watt configuration that you can adjust up to 25 watts but let's start off actually comparing the performance between the two systems First up, we have Citibench R23. Now, at the full 25 watt TDP, the 5560U ends up giving us a multi core result of 7566. Now, at 25 watts, the 5600U gives a very impressive 8716 result. Now, this actually ended up being better than the 5600H in the B Link SRE5. Now, this is pretty significant because of the fact that it's configured to have a higher TDP. That one goes all the way up to 35 watts. But for some reason, this CPU at just 25 watts was giving a higher result consistently over multiple runs. I'm not sure why. We'll take a look at that at a comparison video between those two systems later on, but just this was a really confusing result for me. In terms of single core, the score ends up pretty much practically identical between the two, which is not surprising at all since it is the same architecture the only real difference just being slight differences in terms of cash so starting off the game comparison we have rainbow six extraction you ha we have it here running at 1080p with the lowest in-game graphics settings and a lock resolution scaling of 75 percent you can see between the 5560u and the 5600u the 5600u has a noticeable lead both in the average and one percent lows now both systems can be configured to get some pretty great results if we actually enable dynamic resolution scale so both systems can be brought to a playable state, but the 5600U has a noticeable lead in this specific game. 
Now, Cyberpunk had one of the least noticeable differences between the two games, and we are already running with some pretty aggressive settings, and still both systems give us the exact same 30 FPS average. Though the 5600U does have an improvement in 1% lows, neither system is really able to give us anywhere near a playable result really on here. So both are kind of a failure. Now, Red Dead Redemption 2 is a different scenario where neither one is giving us a really that playable of an experience here and we're already using fsr at the performance preset with the lowest in-game graphics settings so not a great result from either one but the 5600u is taking the lead here though again neither one is going to provide you that great of an experience now forza horizon 5 is an interesting result because here we can see one of the widest gaps that we've seen so far with the 5560u giving us a fps average of 33 with a one percent low of 23 while the 5600u is giving us an fps average of 43 with a one percent low of 34 so a far better result and really does show a significant difference between the two horizon zero dawn is an interesting result because of the fact that while it isn't a significant boost in the overall difference in performance it does at least bump the performance enough where on the 5600U, your 1% lows are at least at 30 FPS instead of below that, so it becomes a far more playable experience. But neither one is amazing, but this does make a difference in terms of one that is a playable experience and one that you might just want to avoid. Now, Rainbow Six Siege is an interesting one because of the fact that it does also show a pretty noticeable gap in terms of the performance between the two. Specifically, the improvements in the 1% lows are the most welcome addition here, and it's really these types of esports titles where the difference between the two chips becomes the most apparent. But this is an overall really nice result for the 5600U. Now the Division 2 running at the lowest in-game graphics setting sets the render resolution to 75% of 1080p. Overall the result that we get on both of these systems isn't exactly impressive but again the 5600U does take a lead here but neither one is going to give you such a huge result that you're going to feel like you're having an amazing experience. So it's a win for the 5600U, but really a barely noticeable win. Batman Arkham Knight is also another win for the 5600U, but it also really demonstrates the fact that the efficiency difference between the two is pretty noticeable, where to get a better result, we're also using less power most of the time. And it really just shows the benefits that come with the full Zen 3 package instead of this half design that we have with the 5560U. In general, though, not an impressive result in terms of the overall overall score, but impressive efficiency numbers. Bioshock Infinite is another title that also showed a clear difference. Now this is also running at the ultra preset, and between the two you can see a pretty noticeable gap. Not as big of an improvement in the 1% lows, but in general a overall nicer experience on the 5600U. And again, we're hitting very similar efficiency numbers, and sometimes it's even lower on the 5600U because of the fact that Zen 3 is just so efficient that the iGPU is already using up all the power that it needs to hit its maximum clock speed and the CPU itself is just barely sipping at any of the power so it doesn't need the full 25 watt TDP. Both of them do benefit from this but it is the most apparent on the 5600U. Now Deus Ex Mankind Divided didn't exactly run well on either one of these systems at 1080p with the lowest in-game graphics settings but there is a slight improvement between the two with the 5600U but neither one is is going to give you a great result and both of them are going to require you to pretty much go down to 720p to get anywhere near a playable experience but it does show that there is a slight difference between the two systems though not a very drastic one in a title like this now shadow of the tomb raider actually ends up giving us a very interesting result we're running this with 75 percent resolution scaling and neither one is giving us an amazing result neither one is really at a state where i would consider it to be very playable but the 5600U is giving a noticeably better result overall here. So again, it's not going to make the game really that much more playable, but it is a pretty noticeable improvement.
And lastly, we're taking a look at World War Z here. You can see it running with the lowest in-game graphics settings, and we are using FSR with the performance preset. And you can see that there is a noticeable improvement between the two systems here, specifically in the 1% lows, though neither one is giving us amazing numbers for 1% lows. The 5600U does actually bring it up to a range where it is at least playable, while there is a very noticeable stutter happening in the 5560U. In general, that's really going to affect the playability as you can tell by the frame time charts between the two of them. Alright, so you've seen the numbers, so now the real question is, where does this leave these systems in the market right now? At the $300 price point, there is some pretty decent competition in terms of systems that come in both the 5560U, the 5500U, and the 5600U. And pretty much at the exact same price points, really the 5600U is hands down the best systems to really pick up. Now, I can't attest to the build quality of any of the other systems at this price point with the 5600U, but at least the Ace Magician, while not the highest quality machine, is still more than decent enough. And as for the SRE 5 series, the 5500U and the 5560U really both just do not seem to be good enough at this price point to justify getting in comparison to a system with a 5600U. The biggest point in favor of the B-Link systems is just the fact that they are extremely quiet. So if you know that you're getting this for someone that is going to care a lot about noise i can see there being a justification for going with the b link but outside of that as you can see by the testing numbers themselves the 5600u is just an all-around better chip for pretty much the exact same price and if you run the system at its stock 15 watt tdp both the ace magician and the b link are extremely quiet systems and at least we know with the 5600u that you don't really need the higher tdp while something like the 5500U definitely has its performance sweet spot a lot closer to 25 watts. So at $300, I would pretty much just stick with the Ace Magician or the other 5600U equivalents. But I'll catch you in the next one.